All right, guys, this is Jerningham here. Why have most of these lockdowns happened in the UK again? Is it the second wave? Is it the second peak of the coronavirus? I cover a lot of these videos. And I, I don't also talk about coronavirus. I do other things as well. And what my theories are, if this coronavirus keeps on going and keeps happening and we don't have a vaccine and people have got no money, what are they going to do? start smashing up things breaking things hitting things everybody needs to get paid in this world and people are probably getting sick or tired of being in the world like this the world has changed rapidly as we all know some of us like the world the way it is some of us hate the world the way it is especially me if i had the choice like i've said many times to you guys and girls on on this video i'd go in the time machine i'd go into 1945 just to get raped in the coronavirus, since people may think I'm crazy, just stupid, or whatever. That's your opinion. And time machines never happen, uh, which is a shame, really, in my opinion. But uh, if if a virus happens in one area, it's going to spread to another area. I'm going to keep saying this and over and over again because if a virus is in the north of the country or city, it will go in the south, and it will keep spreading across the whole country. It's not going to just stay in one area. Somebody will pick the virus up, drive through another part of the country, and then spread it around there. Same with an aeroplane. If someone comes in our country with an aeroplane, or another country with the virus, and they spread it in the UK, it'll happen again. Second outbreak. It's the same with America as well. In America, they get the same problem. Or they've had it worse. So does Brazil. People are just getting on with their lives, and uh, it's not easy living through a time like this it's a very strange time for a lot of people and uh, you know it's something coming on the horizon some people don't believe World War 3 will happen well there's as we all know there's wars in some other countries like Iraq had a war in 2002 I think it's finished now then you had Syria Um other country we had a war in Iraq, Syria Africa I think Africa is still having some problems of war even though it's calmed down recently Africa is a very poor country as we all know very sad the government don't care about them over there which is uh, annoying there is white people in Africa and there's black people it's more of a black country Africa and some people say Africa is quite a nice country I mean some of the people are friendly there same with India. I mean, if you go, if you're a British person that goes to India, all the Indians think you're rich because it's, India is a very poor country, and they're happy to help you in India. That's what I've got told anyway. It's supposed, it's supposed to be a good place to go on holiday. But on the other hand, if you go to America, um, there's people. It's like anywhere you go, there's people friendly and people horrible. But uh, I think some America. I'm not going. I'm going to tell you this. I like anybody, but some loads of people can be funny. American people, English people, any colour of the world can be funny with people. But there is nice people. Uh, I, I like people, and uh, and I like the Americans. But I find with a lot of the Americans, it can be arrogant bastards. And I'm going to tell you that now in the video. I'm not being racist. I'm not being horrible. I'm not being cruel to anybody. There's only I mean, my friend in the party chat is American. And he's a very nice friend of mine. And I'm sure he would agree with what I'm saying. Because I'm not being forceful. I'm telling you the truth. Because that's how I feel in myself. And some people may slate me for that and say, Oh, you don't like American people. Well, I didn't say that. I said some of Americans are immigrant, arrogant. Not all of Americans. It's the same British people. We can all be awkward in our own way. That's what I'm saying. None of us are perfect in this world. But that's, what, that's how I see people like that. The American people always want to be loud and proud, which is a good thing. But it's at the wrong times, in my opinion. It's okay being loud and proud and showing off and being a good friend. But they... I like... They've got some... There's some there is some clever American people out there. What are very intelligent. And uh, they've built a lot of things up. They always want to be noticed by people, which is great. That's how you make business. If you didn't do that... There'd be no business in the world. Do you see what I'm saying to say here? And um, 
something I was going to say in this video. Um, that's how they come across to me. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are going for the same thing if you're from the UK. That's how it comes across. Now, I like everybody. Some, I'm going to say. I like my friend in the party chat. He's a very respectful person. He's not an idiot. I'm not going to tell you his name because it's personal to me. I'm not going to say, because, you know, I'm not going to just tell somebody's name behind their back because I'm not that kind of person. So, you know. Put it that way, he's a good friend. If I, I, I would tell you his name, but uh, I only ask, I'd ask him first before I said his name. But put it that way, it's good to be private sometimes and have your own opinions. Now, what else can I talk about here in this video? Because this is going to be put, put onto YouTube in a minute, and uh, I do like America. I think America is a great place, but it's just the people that are in it. I'm sure he agrees as well. He doesn't like. He's a good friend, but I don't think he doesn't mix with everybody. So, I need mean, to tell you the same. So. He picks his friends wisely, so do I. You have to pick your friends wisely in the world. You don't trust everybody. Um, if the way the world is going as well, the economy has crashed anyway, as we all know. Lots of people lost their jobs. And uh, some people are probably going to have to go on benefits or <clears throat> tax credit or go on some kind of benefit to support themselves in the crisis of corona and the pandemic now i'm not a guy that talks about the coronavirus all day i do videos what i'm doing now i'm talking about it and putting it onto my other channel i talk about other things like gaming i talk about lifestyle things and other stuff but i do one video a day about coronavirus and i'll leave it at that i'm not going to talk about it all day because it gets a bit boring and annoying so this is my one video I'm doing today about coronavirus, and that'll be it. I've done other videos, I know a lot of people don't like talking about it, but this is the only video I'm doing today. So once a day is fine, if you talk about it all day it's a bit annoying isn't it? So anyway, thanks for joining me guys and girls, hope you all enjoyed the video. No disrespect to anybody, I like everybody, but there is funny people in the world. They don't take it the wrong way. Thanks for joining me, peace.